Hello everyone for this week's um, discussion board. The topic was about fundamentalism and modernism. And the assignment was to describe an element of the critically important fundamentalist um, modernist controversy. Um, this is something that like you probably don't hear about that much unless you're in a specific class about uh, Christianity in different denominations of churches. So in order to understand a little bit more about it and what we're going to go into this next few minutes, um, the fundamentalist modernist controversy was a religious controversy in the 1920s and the 1930s within the Presbyterian uh, church and it later created divisions in different denominations in that church and in other churches alike. Um, within this, we were to pick a specific person or thing that happened, time, denomination, just uh, things in general. And I picked the Scopes trial, which uh, took place in 1925. And it really had to do with the teaching of evolution in public schools. Um, so at the same time that this uh, had been going on, he had been campaigning against Darwinism within the Presbyterian Church. William Jenny Brown, um, he'd also encouraged uh, state lawmakers around the country to pass bills banning the teaching of evolution in public schools. Now, I never attended a public school until I got into college. I went to a Christian school, and we learned about creationism, yes, but I mean, we learned about other stuff, too. We learned about creationism mostly in, like, elementary schools. And in middle schools, and then when you got in high school, you learn about physical science, biology, chemistry, stuff like that. Um, and even in my public Christ or my public uh, college, I actually never really learned about evolution there either. Um, we just talked about I took a biology class and a meteorology class. Um, so in those backgrounds, I never even got that either. Um, but. Uh, many states responded to Brian um, and how he wanted them to take this teaching out of schools. Uh, and But at the same time, people thought like, oh, you know, you're riding that fine line between creationism and, you know, the church, like the church and the state. Like you need to, if you're going to take that out of schools, then you need to take other stuff out of there as well. Like you can't pick one and not the other. Um, Tennessee actually passed a bill um, in March of 1925 that was um, in favor of that as well. Uh, they got the ACLU involved during this time uh, against Scopes and and resulted in this huge trial, this huge um, trial, which I think in about 1900, um, in, it was in a town with 1,900 people, but, like, I mean, obviously, we're still talking about it today, so thousands and thousands of people probably showed up and had some kind of part in it. Um, basically, the debate, even after Brian's died, um, still was there about evolution within the Presbyterian Church, within people voting for it, voting against it, yes, no, um, which is kind of, like, where the where fundamentalist modernist controversy came from like is it fundamentalist like modernist like you know the fine line between all of it came into play uh not through this but through so many other things but this is just one of the things that uh, i think we've really touched on um i mean something today that people still talk about you know not even just within churches but within schools within politics i mean everything you still hear a lot about it um, Darwinism, and everything like that. It's uh, talked about on a lot of TV shows, too. I kind of noticed, like, evolution is right, evolution is wrong. So, um, anyway, that is all that I have to say this week about the Skips trial. Uh, it was very important, like I said, to this specific thing that we learned about in history, this specific um, controversy, which was huge during this time, and this time was a huge time for kind of starting to separate a lot of Christianity out of school and out of public places. So, thank you.